folks that's probably super loud i am back home this is a different setup because i was anticipating having hip surgery that i'm not gonna do right now i'm gonna wait and save it for a different time probably later this year but anyway it doesn't matter we're back on wade's world because we have breaking news i had to get this video out as soon as possible asap that's what it stands for marvel is cooking with grease kevin feige back in charge disney said Go ahead and have two more Avengers films. We gotta mix it up after the Kang Dynasty's been shattered. And he did just that. They're at Comic-Con this weekend. And today they just announced three new films on the slate for 2025, 2026, and 2027. And a massive, I mean massive reveal. Robert Downey Jr. is back in the MCU, but he's not playing Iron Man. You thought that was the iconic character we all did. But instead, he will play none other than Victor Von Doom. Dr. Doom is coming to the MCU. This is insane stuff. What just happened? What does it mean? The breakdown. Let's go. All right, so like I said, Marvel always has big announcements for Comic-Con in San Diego. This year was no different. Today they announced three big films. Fantastic Four titled The Fantastic Four First Steps in Theaters, July 25th, 2025. Let's just take a look at the poster. As you can see, true to a 1960s-esque type of model and movie here i have a feeling time travel will be another massive part of the fantastic four how they get from what i assume will be that 1960s era to our era it's also confirmed that the fantastic four will be in both of the avengers movies the cast of which i think you guys have seen by now but we'll, we'll go into it vanessa kirby playing susan storm joseph quinn playing johnny storm pedro pascal playing Mr. Fantastic Galactus, which I feel like I got snubbed for, unfortunately. That was definitely my character. Julia Gardner in an unnamed character, I guess, at the moment. And Ivan Moss Bakarak. I should probably know his name. He's playing the thing, Ben Grimm. This is Marvel's last opportunity to make a Fantastic Four movie and actually make it right. It has been tried and tried and tried again. Honestly, the Fox property way back when Chris Evans, Jessica Alba, it was serviceable, it was okay. They got a couple of good movies out of it, but it still is not the same touch of genius that not only Marvel can bring now that again, they're cooking with Grease Kitchen behind me for a reason. Kevin Feige back in charge of the creative, brought on the Russo brothers who directed Captain America, I think Winter Soldier and potentially, I, I think it was just Winter Soldier, maybe it was also, Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame. Those same guys are directing Fantastic Four. They're also directing both the Avengers films. This is what we fell in love with, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is what I was saying almost half a year ago in November, how you got the people back involved. It was refocusing on your core values as a Marvel Cinematic Studio. What do you want to bring to the universe of fans that watch these movies? Is it just slapping shows on Disney Plus just so we can fill a quota and introduce characters that mean almost nothing and the fans proved that by not watching the shows? No, it's by diving in and delving in to your audience. And honestly, whether you guys like this casting of Robert Downey Jr., we'll get to it in a second. Doing what you know works. The tried and true method of bringing in big time stars you know can acclimate and tell the story you want to tell. So Fantastic Four. July 2025. Awesome stuff. We knew that was coming. What we thought was coming, what we hoped was coming, and what we found out, and by the way, here's a pretty cool little thing they showed at Comic-Con. Here was uh, the Fantastic Four floating their way onto the Comic-Con stage. Pretty cool. Is this guy filming himself? Oh, he's showing a buddy on FaceTime, it looks like. So very cool. All cool stuff. And then they dropped the bomb. I'm not going to give you guys spoilers. They, they, they spoiled some stuff for the new Captain America movie, which I was not a big fan of, but again, it's Comic-Con, that's kind of stuff's gonna happen, whatever. But then the big bomb was dropped, and we're gonna watch it right now. So, Avengers Doomsday is the name of, I guess, the first of the two Avengers films they're gonna be working on. As you can see, the Russo brothers on stage will be directing Kevin Feige back in control, and all these little Victor Von Doom, Doctor Doom droids, or druids, you could call them, standing on stage. No one really knew why or what was gonna happen here, right? Until they pulled, I mean, the shocker of all shock. I'm talking that level. Yes, the one you do with your girl, late night, on the daily, depending on relationship values. But what happened next, I don't think anyone could have anticipated. 
Oh my God. Robert Downey Jr. steps on stage in the Doctor Doom somewhat suit but cowl over the top takes off the mask and there he is by the way massive l no offense to jared leto but to whoever yelled out jared leto before robert downey was was revealed maybe they were trying to pull a wade curse but that's a fat l you can hold listen to this guy jared leto anyway the point is this is a bombshell whether you like it or you don't you're talking about it this is what they needed and quite frankly when i first saw it i went wait a second how's this gonna work because this is Iron Man. This is the first Avenger we saw as a global superstar on the screen. Yes, the Hulk movies came out technically first, but Robert Downey was and is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Was and is Tony Stark. Without him, without Iron Man 1 laying that foundation and getting people intrigued in what would become the greatest movie universe of all time we don't have any of this so how can you go from such a recognizable character and a recognizable actor playing that character to just flipping it on its head well the only thing that i can assume that they would do here is potentially use an adaptation of the infamous iron man comic run that essentially establishes victor von doom as taking the mantle of iron man after the events of the civil war ii storyline you guys can look that up We'll probably go into more depth as I do more of these reviews. I think you guys like a little bit of this on the Wade's World channel. I've been wanting to do more of it, so we're back. But when I say an adaptation, we've seen now the introduction of variants and different versions of the same character, an actor playing a different character altogether based on those said variants. This could be the introduction of Tony Stark's doppelganger, his variant from another universe that while Tony Stark's biggest fear was losing our universe to his vision of Thanos and creating Ultron based on that vision and having to conquer Ultron and almost signaling Thanos to come to Earth and having to conquer Thanos again with the final snap. That was our Tony Stark. That was our Robert Downey Jr. But maybe, and again, I'm just assuming here, they are reimagining the storyline of a different universe's Tony Stark, obviously not named that, Victor Von Doom, played by Robert Downey Jr. to be the polar opposite, the man that with the same intellect, with the same passion, the drive, but even more selfishness than Iron Man 1 Tony Stark, but with more greed and he's more power hungry and he has less of a soul and he's less concerned with who and what stands in his way. It's only conquest and power at the top. Now, I don't know how exactly they go about making Doctor Doom in the cinematic universe because in effect he is maybe like a combination of Iron Man and, and Doctor Strange to a degree I know that's gonna sound crazy but he doesn't actually have any superpowers it's just a ridiculous mastery of science and sorcery that allows him to manipulate time space you know durability strength all these things that he can do essentially come from his ability of the mind and obviously you can you know go back through in different iterations of the character. My point being, he could literally, Robert Downey Jr. could play a polar opposite version of Tony Stark here. And how fitting would it be, the old Joker quote, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. This is happening in real life. We've seen Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark die on camera, his character dead, only for his evil doppelganger in a different universe to rise up and become the villain. That right there, I'm sold, dude. I am sold. Well, if you first, because again, such an iconic character, can to one actor play two? If there is one actor that can do it, it's Robert Downey Jr. And of course, you know, we do have to talk about the fact that the only reason this is really happening is because of the whole Jonathan Major situation and while that entire thing seems to be completely blown out of proportion and it sucks for Jonathan Majors based on I think what actually he was charged with and the whole thing this is happening almost directly as a consequence of that I gotta be honest it's not just because it's Robert Downey Jr. I was never a big fan of Kang in his own movie as the big bad ever really by itself anyway. I just think this is a potentially, depending on how they do it, and Robert Downey, you know, a little bit of a wild card thrown in there to play Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom himself was always the better character. It was always him as that second 10-year plan final boss. If you had Thanos, the Infinity Gauntlet, and that was your starting point, you had to go bigger and I didn't see Kang as bigger. I saw him as a 
filler, as a, a placeholder, as a semi-boss to the big boss, which you know, Galactus is going to be in the Fantastic Four film. You have the Eternals out there, even though that movie sucks. This is what a movie villain is. Doctor Doom will restore faith into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And by the way, his Doomsday film, which I love, by the way, Avengers Doomsday, love the name there. That comes out May 2026, and they're doing the same playbook they used for Infinity War and Endgame one year later. Avengers Secret Wars. If you thought Infinity War and Endgame was a fan service, full on orgy of superheroes and your favorite innuendos and Easter eggs you've ever seen, buckle your seatbelts, get out the freaking lube, and get ready to have fun because my God, it is going to get hot and sweaty, knees deep, arms are heavy, the vomit on us, never mind. It's going to get crazy in 2027, but we're just getting started. I had to get on here and tell you guys Robert Downey Jr. just got cast as potentially the big villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe after playing its most iconic, heartfelt, emotionally grabbing, recognizable babyface good guy in the same universe. That shit is crazy. And I, I don't know if this is even a good idea. I'm starting to come around to it. In fact, I'm, I'm, you can see me smiling. I'm loving the possibilities of variants and Again, being able to play a complete opposite character with the same actor, it opens up possibilities, by the way, for a lot of the old cast that could potentially come back. And I know Chris Evans has said, you know, he's not interested in playing Captain America right now, and that's fine. I mean, he can't play somebody else. And also, yes, you know, there are going to be people saying there's so many other actors that could have played this role, and they'll throw out their favorite actors. And, and you're probably right. All those actors that you will say in the comments section here would have and probably could have done a great job in that role. There is something to be said for throwing the entire Marvel Marvel Cinematic Universe on its head. I think this type of shakeup, this type of fucking grab the snow globe at Christmas and shake it until something pops out and you might drink a little bit of it and have to go to the doctor after. I didn't do that. Maybe I did. This type of stuff is what this Cinematic Universe needed. I think. I think it needed a, a bit of a kick in the ass, a, a bit of gas in the tank, a bit of electricity back in this thing because for the last couple of years it's been meh after uh after uh. we don't have that with this announcement we have wow oh my god what is next and that takes me back to 2012 and 13 14 15 and so on when every single movie that came out minus Thor 1 and 2 but outside of those every single movie that came out and you watched led you to the next thing. What's next? What's next? What's next? Building, 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 building. Again, Captain Marvel, get out of here. Till that moment, two moments, Infinity War Endgame. Setup payoff was perfect, and it looks like Kevin Feige grabbing the Russo brothers back into the fold. Great move. And deciding, let's see if we can capture that lightning in a bottle one more time. I love it. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Robert Downey Jr. is back, but not to play Iron Man. Instead, Robert Downey Jr. is Victor Von Doom. What do you think? Do you like it? How's it going to work? Is this going to work? Don't have those answers? Let me know down below. I guess we'll find out. <laughs>